really hope that that light is not going to put you off. I don't really know why it's on, but the background looks really, really bare without it, so we're just going to roll with it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a video that I film every single year, and I'm pretty sure for the last three years I've started it with something along the lines of This is a really casual video, I look very rough, blah blah blah. All of that is kind of true, look at the state of my hair. Um, <laughs> but basically, this is my 2018 look back, chat through video, and also my New Year's resolution video, because... I'm sure you guys are aware 2018 is coming to a close and I find New Year's a really odd time because I always find myself like really reflective of everything that I've done that year and also everything that I want to achieve in like the up and coming year and 2018 for me has been without a doubt the most up and down year of my life like single-handedly I can just say that I've had the best moments of my life and some of the worst moments of my life in this year that is not dramatic and I know that I say that every single year but like quite honestly this year's just been weird just so weird and I think if you watch my vlogs and you watch my channel quite regularly you've probably kind of got that vibe if you're new to my channel and you only started watching this year then maybe you probably didn't know what I was like before this year so 2018 obviously started off in January with me still at sick form seems like such a long time ago and i'm not going to do like a talk through of each month purely because i've just put that all on my instagram stories i've done like a look back um, which i will save as a highlight so that you guys can watch that if you want to see what i did in each month you guys probably were watching the vlogs if you weren't you can go back and watch them um, but that is on my instagram you should definitely follow my instagram account and then you'll be able to see things like that when i post them i'm going to talk about the resolutions i set myself at the beginning of the year just watch my video back from last year so i know what they are because <laughs> i had forgot my main one that i wanted to achieve this year well the main two I, I have actually achieved and I'm really really like happy that I have and I forgot that I'd like set myself that target So the first one was to buy myself a car which I actually did in March time I think it was March end of February early March time. I think I bought myself a Suzuki Swift I absolutely love my car I'm really really proud of the fact that I have bought myself a car because I know that not every 18 year old at the time obviously i'm 19 now um is in that position and i know that i'm really lucky and i'm honestly just so grateful that i can drive like that's a serious credit to myself because i am not the most able person at things like that and quite honestly before i passed my test i just thought it was going to be one of those people that could never drive because like it did not come naturally to me driving was a challenge so i'm really glad about that and i do love my car so i'm very proud of myself for that so yeah well done molly my second target was to hit 100,000 subscribers which for me this year was such a bittersweet moment because i did hit a thousand thousand subscribers 100,000 subscribers i hit it on september the 23rd 24th somewhere around there middle of september um and i was actually having such a rough time at the time when i hit 100,000 i was just going through the worst month of my life like honestly i hated september and i don't even like thinking about it because it just upsets me but when i moved to university that first month was the hardest thing i've ever done but the videos i was uploading at the time the content i was uploading was so immensely popular because people love university videos my channel just blew up and i didn't really have time to process that i was about to hit a hundred thousand it just sort of happened and i was literally sat by myself in my flat like it was such an anticlimactic moment because i kind of had in my head for like years and years that it would be this massive thing if i ever got there it would be a huge deal and it was a huge deal and i am so proud but i was just kind of upset that i was by myself and i was just sitting in my flat like cool um but i have achieved it this is my play button and yeah i do i am really proud of myself for this it did kind of feel like it just got lost in a sea of other events that were happening at the time like it was honestly such a mish of a time and when i try and think back to it now everything's kind of blurred because it was such a difficult month that does not mean that i'm not super grateful i'm proud of myself because it's a goal that i've said in every video that i've filmed like this i've been like hit 100k well now we've done it so i don't know what the target is for next year i think one of my final targets was to do more things for me i don't think i've achieved that so i'm gonna put that on my list again for this year because each year i say i want to be a little bit more selfish i want to take some time for me i want to do things that i want to do rather than what i should do and quite honestly, I really think I didn't do that this year. Like, the whole reason I applied to go to Leeds is because I felt like I had to do it because school... It sounds unfair and I don't want to put all the blame on my sick form, but there was a lot of pressure to go to university. And I knew in my heart, in myself, that I did not want to carry on in education. I knew that 
from the off and I did it anyway because I kind of felt like I had to. That is like the epitome of me doing things because other people kind of want me to rather than doing them for me. Obviously now it is too late. I am already doing the course and I'm over halfway through it so I might as well just finish it and I'm not having the best time but I might as well just get it done. But after that, in 2019, I really wanna focus on just doing things that I actually want to do and having a really good year and making some amazing memories that I've done for me. Because don't get me wrong, I have had some really good times in Leeds. I have made some amazing friends, but ultimately, I don't really wanna be there. Like, nothing is really gonna change that. So yeah, whatever, I've done it now. And I'm not gonna talk loads about university because I've done a lot of videos and vlogs on that. But uni is obviously something huge that has changed my 2018 dramatically because all I've ever known until that point is my tiny hometown with my tiny friendship group that wasn't that tiny, but you know what I mean? Like my very cliquey school in my very cliquey town and that's it. Like I've never really known any different. And I think moving to Leeds was a massive, massive reality check for me because I just, honestly, it was just so different to living in Beverly, like so, so different. I think a lot of the time, I've said this before as well, I think a lot of the time you don't realize a good thing until you don't have it anymore. Beverly is definitely that, like, <laughs> I know that it's easy to be like, oh, I need to like run back home because that's where I'm comfortable or whatever. I don't actually think it is that. Genuinely, I'm just not meant to be a student. Like I'm just not. So that there's that and it's an experience and a learning curve. And I think in the long run, in the long term, I will be grateful that I've done it, but it has kind of made the last half of my 2018 really difficult. And the last like five months or so has been the most like up and down of my life. And it's just been a bit of a mess. like. So because of that, my goals for 2019, I actually have some quite big ones. I've got some really big goals and I think, why not set the bar high? Like if I don't achieve them next year, I might achieve them the year after. I really want to work on say, myself and my YouTube channel and all of the things in my life that I actually really enjoy doing. So I love making videos. I love creating content. I love using social media in a positive way. And I think I really wanna put my all into that without being ashamed of it. Like something that I find so frequently is people go, oh Molly, what are you gonna do after you've finished your course? And I'm like, oh, I don't really know. Even though I do know I'm gonna do YouTube full time. Instead of saying that, I just kind of like clam up because I don't know how to explain it and I don't know how to feel proud of it. But in 2019, I don't want that to be the case. I just wanna be like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna travel and I'm gonna do YouTube full time and that is my job. So why shouldn't I? Loads of people go from school straight into a job. This is my job. So why can't I just do that and be proud of it? Like, I don't know. It's so weird because it's such a weird job, but I want in 2019 for it to just become something that I'm not embarrassed of. Like I'm not embarrassed of it. That's really not the right word because I am proud of it. But when I'm talking to like regular people that don't understand it, like adults, <laughs> it's not easy to explain. And I just wanna get over that. So that's a big goal for 2019. As is just working on doing things that make me happy and sorting myself out a bit because like really what am I doing? <laughs> like I just need to work on that and I need to just put myself first a bit more instead of putting other people first and worrying about what other people are gonna think and worrying about what I'm gonna do next year. Instead of doing that, just enjoy living now, which is so much easier said than done and I'm rubbish at it, but I want to get better at it. <laughs> um, so that is a goal. Another goal kind of tied to that is to travel more. This year I've been so fortunate. I've been to so so many places that were incredible. I went on a lot of holidays over the summer and I know that I'm so lucky to have been to so many of those places. But in 2019, I really want to travel more. A big thing for me is I don't really know who I'm gonna travel with because a lot of the places I want to go, I wouldn't really want to go there alone. I do just wanna travel more. I have saved up a lot of money, um, which I'm so fortunate that I'm able to do from doing YouTube. Like most of the money I make, I save up to do things like traveling and 2019 is going to be the year where I just do that and I go to all these places that I've wanted to go to and have dreamt of going to and I just want to see as much of the world as I can while I'm young and don't have any ties to anything. So that is something that I really really want to do more of in 2019. On my list of places I'm going to New York obviously as you guys know and I'm going to Florida so they're already like planned their holidays like with my family. Other places that are on my list of places to go. I really want to go to Italy. I really want to go to Germany. I really want to go back to the south of France. I really want to travel more of mainland Europe that I've never been to. Yeah, there's there's a lot of places. I'd love to go to San Francisco. Obviously, I don't plan on doing all of this in one year. It's not cheap. 
and it's hard to organise but uh, they, they are the kind of places on my list and I really do just want to have like the best gap year travelling. So yeah, something else that I want to do, this is a little bit of a different goal, this is quite out there but I would love to write and I think that this is something that I don't do because my excuse is oh I don't have the time, I've got other things to be doing, I'm always busy and I am but once I've left uni what excuse do I have? Like I literally am doing a gap year and doing YouTube, of course I'm gonna have some free time, like I am gonna be able to write a lot more and whether it be on a blog or just for myself, like I've said about blogging a lot but it is something I'm really considering because I think that like not to be big headed or blow my own trumpet or whatever but when I write and properly focus on it, I do think I'm okay at it, like I don't think I'm that bad and I really miss doing it as a lesson in school which is weird because I never thought I would say that but I do, I miss like writing and doing English so I really want to do that next year and who knows, maybe that will head somewhere, maybe it won't but I want to try it. So they are my targets for next year, if you guys have any New Year's resolutions comment them down below, I'd be really interested. Obviously I do have the clear ones like everybody else to do more exercise and stuff and I actually mean that like I really do want to go to the gym more often in 2019 because I don't know I just want to work on that I think it's good for your physical health your mental health and it's good to just go let off a bit of steam and get a bit sweaty like it's kind of it's kind of fun sometimes I'm not not saying I love it all the time but sometimes it's fun so yeah I think we've got to the end of this video without mentioning my actual highlight of the year so yes going on holiday was cool doing all of these things I've mentioned was cool hitting 100,000 subscribers was sick buying a car was sick that was great but the highlight my actual actual highlight of the year has to be this. <laughs> Lottie is the highlight of my 2018. Like she just is. I don't think anything will ever top this and quite honestly it's the highlight of my life and now I don't even know what I would do without her. Like this dog is literally my best friend, aren't you? I don't get to see her nearly enough. This was another thing that made going to uni so hard because obviously my parents got a dog the week I moved out which was bad planning but I just miss her so much when I'm at university like honestly I was not a dog person before this year like don't get me wrong I appreciated dogs she's half asleep bless her I appreciated dogs but never had my own so I didn't get the hype now I get the hype my puppy's so big now though Lottie show them how big you've got <laughs> You don't look comfortable. I'm gonna let you sleep. So yeah, the dog. The dog was a highlight, 100%. So yeah, I am actually gonna end this video here. It has been a weird one. It's just a little chat through. It's just so that I myself can watch it back this time next year and be like, oh, I achieved that. Oh, I didn't achieve that, etc, etc. But if you guys have any New Year's resolutions, comment them down below. Subscribe so that you're notified when I upload because I have said this before, but I really am gonna work on my content in 2019 and there is gonna be a bit of a change in the style of videos that you see. So what this space i'm very excited to try something new i will be back in the new year subscribe to see more give it a thumbs up and i will see you on saturday next week i'm gonna have like this week off and then i'll see you on saturday next week bye <laughs> i love you